taking control of his own destiny. This is the newly focused, and some have said revitalized, Baron Corbin. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight, and you can believe that's what we're about to get. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin! I like to preface this by saying Corey Graves' comments about Baron Corbin are paid for by friends of Corbin. That's inaccurate. Corbin doesn't pay me anything to be his friend. We all know Lashley's physique is that which has been sculpted from Mount Olympus itself. This guy won't win a pose down against the Almighty. Do you think there's a chance he can win a fight? We are living in the almighty era. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley striking fear in the hearts and minds of everyone who dares cross his path. Whether he's holding a title or not, the champion spirit and mentality always drives the Almighty. For nearly two decades, Lashley has been pure and total dominance personified. He's at the top of the food chain and won't let anyone forget it. Over the course of his career, Baron Corbin has worn many hats, had many names, but he's put all of that behind him. He's burned the past and now approaches competition with a ruthless focus. Yeah, forget about all the Corbins you thought you knew. This is a different man, a changed man. Baron Corbin has a new fury to him and intimidating intensity. Corbin seems more than ready to show that off here in this one. And ready for him across the ring, we have the almighty Bobby Lashley. That's one of the most amazing things about Bobby Lashley, Corey. He's always ready. We've seen that the almighty is willing to throw down whenever, wherever, and wear down whoever he wants. Setting up for something here. Ooh, right to the throat. That offense might have rocked the confidence of Barron. Oh, that might have just broken something. Bobby Lashley is certainly one of the most physically terrifying superstars in the WWE. Is that power and aggression going to be enough for him here, Corey? Sure, when anyone looks at Lashley, all they see are his muscles. But one thing that's often overlooked about him is his incredible stamina. The physical conditioning of Bobby Lashley might be even more impressive than his power. And I predict that's what'll learn him to win. Returning to the ring now. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. Elbow on the spot. Shoulder tackle. Gets out of there in a hurry. Not the position you want to be in right now. Lashley was powerless there. He heads outside. Countout's legal in this match. And he goes into the ring. A oh, bear hugs. The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Ready down elbows and escaping the bear hug.
just launched. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Corbin strike. This could be it. Cover. Kick out at one. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Setting him up for something here. Turning the tables there. Oh, ouch. Haymaker after Haymaker. Boom. The fight is on, and it's furious. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other, no matter. Taking this match off the mat now. Perched up top. Donnie Negro. And he goes for the pin. Kicks out. He still has life. Almost inhuman at this point. Heading up. He's thinking big. Sky high. Oh, a knee to the face. Consecutive high. Maneuvers and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. Lashley creates an opening with a counter. Uh oh. Oh, the power, the strength. Of Able to get out of the way. Ooh. He's on his heels a bit now. Lashley still putting every ounce of muscle into his offense. Into the cover. Oh. Fending off the attackers. What is it you always say, Graves? Gotta have eyes in the back of your head. At all times. This is exactly why. Some of the most positive and energetic superstars you'll ever meet. The New Day. No one gets the crowd fired up like the New Day. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida. Weighing in at 285 pounds. Big E. Do you eat your bootios with, like, almond milk? Well, of course, I have a sensitive system. Well, Michael, say it with me. New Day Rocks! New Day Rocks! All right, we'll just keep it a solo party. Get him, Biggie!
Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak ready to tie the competition up in knots. Drew Gulak is a walking compendium of wrestling knowledge. Well, that's how Gulak balances the scales against bigger opponents. Ready to outsmart and outfight anybody. Drew Gulak seems to always have a chip on his shoulder. Always fighting hard like he's got something to prove and everything to lose. It's one of the many things I respect about Gulak, along with the impressive in-ring skill set he's developed over nearly two decades. Yeah, and when Gulak combines all that in-ring knowledge with his tenacious attitude, he's... Uh-oh. What are they going to do here? How about a little gory spot? Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Heavy body shots. Whipped hard. What a close line. Look at this. Just unloading. Oh. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Gulak sidesteps. Oh, 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 flesh on flesh. Nothing pretty about it. He finds a counter for Gulak. And all of Gulak's in-ring knowledge couldn't get him out of harm's way there. Getting set up for something in the corner. Ascending up. Oh, and Pacos makes the cover. No, he kicks out. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Oh, face stop. Measuring. That's going to leave a mark for sure. And that one misses the mark. Counters on Uh-oh. What are they going to do here? How about a little? Oh, the gory special. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Uh-oh. Biggie responds. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, kicks right to the midsection. Opponent dropped in the corner. Unloading. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Oh, an arm breaker. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. And he's taking this to the outside now. He knows how to avoid contact. Big E. This is what happens when you get in Big E's way. Great reversal. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Gulak needed. Yeah, Gulak able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Challenge from Gulak. Quick return to the ring. DDT. Gulak's looking to wrap this one up. Byron's feeling happy. Uh -huh. Big ending. And imagine if his own move leads to his downfall. Kicks out. Just kicked out. That move has brought him so many victories, but almost brought him defeat. Just then. I think there is still some shock in the air over the fact that that didn't produce a pinfall. Uh-oh. Ed Zulariot. Two. 
Big E able to get out of the way. Belly to belly. Vicious stiff kick. Uh-oh. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Boom. Oh, oh, an uppercut. Jordan. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. From the top, middle of Rob Kick finds its mark. Gulag looking for that Gulag gets cinched in. Give up now. Swallow your pride and submit. Just hang on. Hang on. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Measuring. Oh, face stomp. Oh, reversal catches Gulak. Down to opponent. And a double axe handle smash. And deep into this match, Gulak is taking on more unwelcome damage. How much offense Big E takes doesn't matter. Nothing slows this man's power. Superstars on fire. Pace begins to quicken. Oh, oh, here, here he goes for the win. Then he closes it out. Kicking out in time. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Expected that one. This has been a jaw-dropping contest of wills. These superstars in the cover! An exhausting match, but a victory he'll savor forever. Here is your winner, Drew Gulak! Big E leaves here tonight in defeat. <laughs> Too bad, loser. I guess Big E doesn't rock, does he, gentlemen? Maybe some other time. Are you A-Town down, Corey? All day. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. This young man is as cocky as the day is long, but he back it up every night. It looks like Theory brought all of his friends in the ring with him tonight. Oh, watch your mouth, Cole. You are looking at the youngest United States champion and Mr. Money in the bank ever. 
How did that cash in go? Well, that I can't. Well, I, I don't have that information readily available. Usually the guys at 2K are great about giving me the stats. I, I, I'll get back to you. Here comes Damon Kemp. A collegiate wrestling standout with a mean streak a mile long. And his opponents, first from Apple Valley, Minnesota, weighing in at 220 pounds, Damon Kemp. Kemp already has countless amateur wrestling accolades, and he's ready to add to that in WWE. With his talent and his aggression, I don't think anyone can stop him. Kemp possesses absolutely punishing Greco-Roman wrestling skills, but has also shown he can get down and dirty in any situation. Yeah, you're not kidding, Corey. Remember when Damon Kemp took part in NXT's first ever ambulance match? Like something straight out of a comic book, here comes Axiom. The masked hero of WWE has arrived. And from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 154 pounds, Axiom! A calculated competitor Axiom finds the perfect angle to strike. There's no complicated math needed to figure out that Axiom is legit. I am actually really excited to see what Axiom has in store for us in this one. Yeah, hopefully we see some more superhuman feats from him tonight. Three of WWE's top competitors ready for this triple threat match. All set for action, and we're starting off with Austin Theory, Damon Kemp, and Axiom. Every superstar for themselves in this matchup. Still, it's possible to see some temporary alliances, no matter how strange. It's about getting the odds in your favor. Chances are better against one opponent instead of two. Gets out of that by using a jawbreaker. Placed in the corner. Uh -oh. On a forearm. Ooh, just ate that kick to the face. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. And Axiom got turned around there. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. Little crisscross. Bang! He can do it here. The pin's broken up. Theory sidesteps. Up across the shoulders. A jumping TKO. Well, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. Absolutely brutal. Ruthless. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Down the solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Corey, there are so many variables in a triple threat. Does that make it possible to execute any sort of strategy? Well, everybody's got a plan so they get drilled in the face. Better watch your back. The shot that hurts the most is the one you don't see coming. Byron, how do you plan for a battle like this? Well, I try and fight out of a corner because then at least you see everything that's in front of you. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, oh and a right hand for good measure. A back suplex. He's getting a little battered. 
corner now. Champ utilizing his bevy of experience to great effect. He's been placed in the corner now. Trap the arm into the neck breaker. What a clothesline! Ouch! That might be it. Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Oh boy! Come on, not the chair. Axiom reverses. Ah, oh, jeez! Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Going for a power slam, steps down. Instead delivers the inverted DDT. Oh, ooh, man. Great strength being shown here. He thinks he has. No, he lets it out. Ah, oh, what a right suplex. Whoa, that was a stiff chair shot to the door. Drop kick from behind. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. Oh, counters right into the bread basket. Oh my God. Trouble now. It's expected, Cole. In a triple threat match, the target on your back is twice. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, and he breaks up the pin. Big forearm. Neck breaker. Oh, meet the backside of an elbow. He reverses it. Well executed suplex. Oh, kick lands. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. He's able to sidestep there. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Able to interrupt the attack. Kemp letting his opponent know who's in charge. He's heading back to the ring. And security finds its mark. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. Striking at will. And that holds Theory back. And the match continues. That's T. Oh, God. Quick thinking from Theory. And responds with a counter of their own. Able to avoid there. Vicious right forearm. This one. Oh, face stop. Fisherman suplex. Uh-oh. Face for the turnbuckle. Taking this to the floor. I don't know what they're looking for here. He has a kendo stick in hand, and this place just turned into South Swanson Street. A sequence of reversals there. And set right into the corner. A flat-out power into the scoop slam. And Theory's maintaining the advantage now. Damon's going to have to endure this punishment. Oh, he's got him where he wants him. Here we go. Oh, 
smash in the corner. Close line to the back of the neck. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Fury ascends to the top. Oh, no. I see blood coming from Fury's face now. Fury expected that. Put in a position now. What's his plan here? DDT! And Theory is being pushed past the break now. Yeah, Theory being tested deep into this match. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. This cross on bars in. No, change of plans. And he tosses him back in now. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Theory's got a plan to end this. the corner. Oh, what a kick! Vicious. Opponent across their shoulders into a fireman's carry position. Down face first. Seamlessly transitioning into the rings of Saturn submission. And he lets him out of the submission holes. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Face first into the chair. He just barely dodges. Well, I guess when you're told you're the guy, you start thinking you're the guy because Theory is looking cocky as hell. And now thrown back into the ring. No, oh, a kendo stick wrapped around the head. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. Oh, my God. A sledgehammer. This could do it. He stops the count. Axia might have him. Ooh, sledgehammer to the bottom. He thinks he has it. And that's it. Axiom is your winner. Here is your winner. Axia. Quite the performance from all three superstars in this match. Three superstars absolutely giving it their all, with one breaking away from the pack in the most dominant way possible. What a match. What a win.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Jinder Mahal at a combined weight of 572 pounds. Veer Mahan and Songa in the sheer. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. And more handsome than ever. And their opponents, first representing the Alpha Academy from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis. Over the past few years, Otis has evolved so much. A more confident competitor, a more well-rounded wrestler. That's because Otis now knows he's got what it takes and it has made him unstoppable. We are finally seeing Otis competing at the highest level, and the WWE Universe loves him for it. And he always seems to have a beautiful blonde chasing him around for reasons I can't fathom. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Seeing Chad Gable back here at NXT. And representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. An amateur legend before joining the ranks of WWE and a true teacher and student of the sport. As athletically gifted and talented Let's in the do. ring as they come. You know the old adage, Cole, those who can do, those who can't teach. Well, if you see Master Gable compete, you know that's an absolute lie. And the intimidating presence of Indus Sheer looming large in the ring here tonight. They've been a terror for the tag team division for a while now, and they're only getting more dominant with time. They're dead set on sending a message to all the tag teams in WWE. Nothing can stand in their way. And they already look primed to continue that message here. And if I may politely shoosh you, we are in the presence of true excellence with the Alpha Academy. These guys put more work in behind the scenes than any other team I know. And unlike the group that has found success in the ring and apparently in academia, their pearls of wisdom are effective sometimes, but far from perfect. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Strong overhand chops. And another. And any one of those shots. Can he do it here? What? Oh, he kicked out. That was a long two count there. Oh, Mahan caught by surprise. Even a near fall there. What the heck is this manager doing looking under the ring? He can't be acting like this. 
dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. And the lion looked more like a house cat there, guys. Otis looked more like a schoolyard bully than a tutor after that move. There he goes, right into the corner. Tag made, fresh man in. This their opponent's uh, legs uh, is oh. alley -oop. Close line in the corner. Pinpointing the leg, punishing the leg. Wrestling 101. If you can't stand, you can't fight. He is looking to do some serious harm. Wait a minute, setting in. Devin. He needs to find an escape prop. Nice. Delivering elbow after elbow. What a forearm. Oh, what a knee right to the face. Gets the tag. Oh, man, he has fired up now. Tag made. Tag made. Square impact across the shoulder. To the arm. avoids that one. Sangha fires back. Shifts it back onto him. Oh, man, check out this power. Gorilla in the cover for the win. He breaks the ref's count before two. Still going to take a massive effort to keep him down. Close line. Good so Lord. So effective. So much for leveling up. Otis got it taken to him there. This is how Sanga is going to make his presence felt throughout the match. He's going for it all. Taking flight.
Great way to disorient your opponent. How's that for a counter? Boom, right across the small of the back. One step ahead of Bear there. Cinching in a waist lock, but right hands. Big right hand. Chad Gable with the tag. He got whipped into that corner. Close line in the corner. One, two. And he gets delivered back into the ring. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Oh, full speed using their body as a weapon. Wicked clothesline. Return fire from Gable. Uh-oh, ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh, knee crusher. That's gonna hurt. Blocked the effort and cut them off with a shot to the gut. Placed into the corner. Quickly applies a side headlock. And look at this superstar. Gets clocked. Scarily close to three. Big slam. Won't be ended here. Kicks out. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Close line. And Chad finding himself. Here he goes. Keeps his team in the match. These men have shown no indication of stick. Tag made. Double team offense on its way. Perch now on the ropes, dropping the elbow. Will fear end this. Cover! No! Just got the shoulder up. How is that not three? Sanga didn't look ready for his opposition there. That one was worthy of adding to the Alpha Academy syllabus next semester. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Gotta hurt. Makes him pay with a counter. Close line. Sanga feeling the energy. The energy from this crowd. Got the tag. Got the tag. He's got him here. He's got him up. And power with a sidewalk slam. A oh, big Otis. But a big Otis slam. Saga's in deep peril here. Two. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. I thought for sure this thing was wrapped up. Well, stay in your seat. Looks like we've got a ways to go yet. And Otis truly thought he fully wrecked him there. Otis can't believe that didn't keep him down. I can hardly hear myself think. They're bringing the house down tonight. This is unbelievable. Stop dead in their tracks. It's over. Zonga sees the finish line. Coming to the rescue.
Zonga is looking to close this one out. Reigns down an elbow in retaliation. Hooking their opponent. Flat out power here. Just a stalling vertical suplex. And now showing off a bit. Stalling suplex. Oh, no, it's roll up. Into Share stands tall and stands victorious. The power Into Share wields inside the ring is clear to see. I'm sure they're happier about this win than they look. They are eagerly awaiting their opponents in this tag team matchup. And wait a second, whoa, whoa. wait a second. Whoa. What? They're completely These getting two. jumped from behind. These two have no business out here. Look, the, the officials got to throw this match out. They, these two are in no condition to compete. That's right. Yeah, That's real right. proud of yourselves. Wait, are they actually going to go ahead with this match? Well, I don't know about this. Guys, how smart is this? It's not smart at all, Cole. These two were just attacked from behind, laid to waste, and now they think they're going to compete against fresh opposition? No way. And always ready to launch an assault, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven are ready for this one. Though unlikely, we can only hope Chelsea keeps her mouth closed. Even her partner, Piper Niven, can't stand all of her yapping. It's a lot of talk that this team comes together when you least expect them to, and they wreak havoc on their opposition. But man, are they easy to dislike, especially Chelsea. But their opponents are tired of hearing about them. Tonight's about stealing a spotlight. It's about establishing a new regime around these parts. You could sense the disdain before the bell even rang. Can she do it here? the pinfall attempt. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Double big back body drop. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. I think I should turn my head for this, guys. Bonsai drop! to truly work as one. Planet face first. Into the corner. This can't be good. As their opponent 
Whipped hard and to the Ooh. corner. Followed by the clothesline. And a rolling neck snap. Cover. Shoulders are down. A kick out to stay alive. No celebrations yet. And there's the tag. Tamina into the ring. This superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. If a shortcut presents itself, you better take it. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Oh my God, face first into the middle turnbuckle. Ah, oh, flapjack. Gosh, landing face first. <laughs> Big time clothesline. Good grief. Shot to the gut will break things up. Russian leg sweep. Continuing to work on the arm with a... And that was a well-executed attack. Yeah. Ooh, she hit the oh, corner hard. Oh, right to the body. And Tamina's confidence must be low after that attack. Chelsea's offensive wherewithal was on point. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Snake eyes! Good night. She says, no thanks. just inflicted as much pain as possible and enjoyed it. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Check your face after that one. She saw it coming. Tossed into the corner. Great counter. Check this out. Oh. Simple but effective. This could do it! Oh, she can come to victory. Picked up the victory! Here are your winners. The team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green! What a victory. That's how you take down an opponent. That's certainly one way of looking at it. It is true they did whatever they had to do to get the win. They really had the rug pulled out from under them. No way to prepare for that earlier onslaught. Every match comes with its fair share of surprises. It just comes down to how well you can roll with those punches.
And here come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing damage control from San Jose, California, the NXT Women's Champion, Bayley. Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bayley, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. Now, Io Sky may be the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, and here's the thing, they've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way of damage control. Kai, Bailey, and Sky about to take what they want. The generation of Jade has begun. And I don't think it'll ever end. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. As far as Cora is concerned, no one measures up to her. She's on another level. And you know what? I think she might be right. She has a thorny and jealous attitude. That's for certain. Yeah, and she's always ready to pick a big fight. Uh, about to learn very quickly as this woman uh, how difficult it is to contain damage control. Difficult, Cole, that might be the understatement of the year. It's practically impossible. Flaws, even I can't deny that Bailey is great. Wait, wait, is she? Yeah, looking for the submission. Ah, uh, Black Whip. Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. And Bailey connected nicely there. Can you believe this? I love it. A shot like that to the ego can really shake you up mentally. Oh, and a reversal. And another counter. Corey, what exactly is it that Bailey needs to do here in order to come out on top? Bailey's a fighter, Cole. She can be downright scrappy when she needs to be. And tonight, I'd say she needs to be. Going right after the shit into the dragon screw. Knee strike! That offense taking a toll on her. Bailey hoping to take total control by any means necessary. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad! Come on, this isn't right. No! Kicks out! Somehow, some way. Ah, uh, seated bionic elbow. Oh, stop right to the hand. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Oh, quite an effective counter. Oh, strong Irish whip. Stuck in the tree of woe and just having their face stomped. Bailey continuously executing her game plan. There's the scrappy fuck up high. Good lord, taking flight, just crashing down with high impact. And gets tossed back into the mat. <laughs> Series of elbows looking to create separation, she does so. Nice, nice Japanese arm drag. She 
Strong counter from Jade. Momentum isn't completely out of Cora's side just yet. Prime up. Play it possum! Whoa! Play it possum! Kick out. She still has life. So, so close. That could have been it. Running Hurricane Rana. Uh-oh. Suicide dive. Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. And Jade's caught with a reversal. Uh, using a handful of hair to deliver the snapmare. And this is even worse, my goodness. And guys, she's dangerously close to a countout loss. Jade getting excited. What's she gonna do? She sure. Ooh, refusing to let her get into her head. Cut off with a kick to the gut. For a Jade with Jade. Is it enough to put Bailey away? Cover. Two. What in the world? Bailey was narrowly in the throes of a three count, but had the wherewithal to force her shoulder up. The best shot was thrown, but it couldn't put this match away. What a tornado DDT. Able to reverse. Oh my! Look at Bailey, fast press! Bailey in total control! Surfboard submission, no! Double stomp to the legs. She scores big with the counter. Turned it into an arm drag. Into Gary. And Bailey taking the brunt of it there. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Jumping clothesline! What agility! And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Fast press! Fast press! Get his press! And Bailey is really being knocked around here. Any chance for Bailey's offense is being trampled. Sharon Newey! Shoulders down! And still in this! She just won't stay down. Japanese on drag. It's unbelievable that these athletes are in this match in any capacity. Here we are. Break the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Boom! And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. My God, enough! Top rope, here we go! Up high, Tommy Cross body! Throwing all costs into the wind. <laughs> Bailey perched up high, ready to fly. And now Bailey's being measured. Jawbreaker. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Talk about rocking the jaw. Everyone is on their 
feet in this building. Absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting each other through. Kick in the back of the knee, watch this. Spiked with the rose plant. That can be Jade's demise. There's two! And that's it, Bailey is your winner. Here is your winner, Bailey. Poor Jade suffering the loss in this one. The role model leaving tonight with all the much deserved glory. The original, the official, the only club that matters. More championships among the three than most of the locker room combined. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Mitchell at a combined weight of 505 pounds, the World Tag Team Champions, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the O.C. The most dominant club in the world, marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. Scanning the scene in the ring tonight, and the OC is looking to start up a fight. There's no escape, and that's for sure. Always looking for war. A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. And their opponents, accompanied by Rhea Ripley, at a combined weight of 439 pounds, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and the NXT Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. The Judgment Day can beat you in so many ways. The numbers gain, brute force, or pure intimidation. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. Just look at the Judgment Day, powerful, dominant, and ready to unleash their anger. Expect no mercy, no concern for their opponent's well-being. 
Well, that's how the Judgment Day conducts their business. They want power at any cost. That's the bell, and the OC is here, set for action. There are really no egos in the OC, guys. They love to fight and then have a good time outside the ring. That's what happens when you spend as much time making money and making towns as these dudes have, Cole. All that matters after that is the company you keep, and the OC knows that all too well. A very tight-knit crew. You have to admire that. But I have to imagine they're in for a hellacious fight against the Judgment Day. This group knows how to punish you inside the ring and can be a nightmare opponent for even the most seasoned competitors. Yeah, even if you don't like them, you can't deny Judgment Day is stacked when it comes to raw talent. They are a very well-rounded group that has an answer for just about anything you can throw at them. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Setting up. Jarring impact. And off the tag is Carl Anderson. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. And that was a precisely measured attack. Priest timed that one. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, Carl answers back. Trouble here. Oh, what a great counter. That'll break it up. What a counter. Here's the snapmare. Followed by the will this be enough? Strong kick out there. Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. for Priest. Uh-oh. Oh, the reversal by Priest. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. Super kick. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Punishing stretch. That was not just painful on the shoulder. That pain can shoot all the way up to the neck and all the way down the arm. This is a smart strategy. Counters that. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Oh, big punch. Out. And he goes for the pin. No shoulders up at two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Partner tags in. And Carl channeling his energy here. And now gets tossed into the ring. And tag, he did it. Let's go. And he sends him into the corner. Uh-oh, he's got the answer for that one. And he finds an answer for Gallows. That bear? Oh, look at the kick. Oh. This one's all but over. Kick out at one. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. <laughs> Balor retaliates. Down with a sling blade. Basement drop kick. And will this be it? No, he pops the shoulder. Four three. He really thought that was it. Reaches his partner for the tag. Yes, tag. Shoulders 
Shoulders are down. Almost two and a half. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Stop after stop after stop. You can feel the resentment building with each stop there. Placing them into the corner. He's absorbing some tough hits now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Tag! Oh! Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Oh, man! Looking to apply an agonizing armbar stretch. Ugh. Carl just getting knocked around. Gotta expect Priest's calm control to continue. Some of his win now. Yeah, and Anderson proved his mean streak is a mile wide with that attack. Lands the elbow. Shoulders down. And that'll finally do it. What a victory. Here are your winners. Finn Balor and Damian Priest. The Judgment Day. Tag team in full effect with these two superstars. Tag team excellence in its purest form. You simply love to see it. And I hope we see these guys tagging again real soon. Superstar ready to go and a chop block from behind. What a cheap shot. It's got nothing to do with decency. It's all about victory. There's no way this competitor can compete at 100% now. And so there's the bell, but I don't know how much of a match we're in for after that sneaky assault that took place during the entrances. Just overexcited for this match, that's all. They couldn't stand to wait until they actually got in the ring. Or it was a calculated plan to get the advantage. Well, I guess we'll just never know. The arm cross face submission is a arm is trapped. Cross face. Oh, 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 oh. Nice way to transition out of it. Oh my gosh. What are you guys thinking? Obviously, not about the ref's count, Cole. 
Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Oh, able to counter. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. <laughs> oh, big boot. Neither Reigns nor McIntyre is going to back down in this fight. With that in mind, Corey, what do you think? Is it enough here? Well, the ref doesn't even see the cover. Valuable seconds passing as they're distracted. I didn't think this match was close to over. Stiff elbow will break that up. Big counter from Reigns. Bad predicament right here. Oh, God. He can do it here. Stops the count before it, too. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. his methods, but you have to respect his determination. And now McIntyre is at a loss as his mind races to rethink his attack. From the top, Bob with a clothesline. He finds a counter to McIntyre there. He turns it around. Ah, stops to the legs. Ooh, slows that down with a well-placed kick. Snapmare delivered by Reigns and a... Oh, oh, man. Boot right to the face. Oh, man! Ouch. Ooh, nails the midsection. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. That hit connects from Roman Reigns. Oh, that is going to leave a mark. Boom. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. He has to be at his limit now. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. They weren't that good looking anyway. Stomping. Ouch. Up and up. Dang. Whatever's plan here can't be good. Oh, Ram face first. And I think that one busted Roman Reigns open. McIntyre preparing to destroy Reigns. Uh oh. To the arm track. Quick reversal. Almost ended it there. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Enable the counter. Ah, oh, McIntyre. 
just launched his opponent overhead, belly to belly. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. No way! Somersault plancha! Throwing all caution to the wind and leaping to the outside. Oh, and Roman fights. Oh, Fork to cut off the wind. Reigns with the guillotine. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Reigns and McIntyre have dropped bombs on each other and somehow are both still alive in this one. Both exhausted, both in pain, but neither one is going to be the one to slow down first. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. <laughs> McIntyre looking highly motivated right now. He beats the count, and this one continues. What spear by Reigns! Reigns got all of it. Is it enough? The cover! Uh-oh. Despite the victory, this superstar's got some issues. Uh, it appears to be some sort of leg injury that this superstar has suffered now in, in the wake of their victory. All you can do is hope it's not too severe, and hopefully the competitor will be able to enjoy the victory that they earned tonight. Oh, this... I don't know. This, this doesn't look good. Yeah, unfortunately, I agree with you, Byron. I cannot believe this superstar would stoop this low. Guys, I don't even think this match is going to be able to begin. What a vicious and calculated attack. Those are very fancy ways for you to say intelligent, Cole. Yeah. Finally, these superstars have made it to the ring after a vicious surprise attack while entering. Always unfortunate to see violence before the bell like that. It just puts a big asterisk on this match. Make all the annotations you want in the record books. A W is a W. This is about winning by any means necessary. The trifecta! They used every muscle to deliver those suplexes. Ripcord applied. Oh, and a forearm. Rollins with a reversal. Before the count runs out. Sent into the corner. <laughs> Rollins got surprised there. It seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. Thunderous clothesline. He's going for the pin. Turn around, ref. The action's behind you. He throws his shoulder up before two. He needs to deal more damage before trying that. Watch out. Oh, God. That, that, that's a bad landing. You have daring, and you have... No! 
Oh, just completely off target there. I don't care how bold you are, missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. A medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. Oh, with authority! Rollins believes a lot of his own hype, but the hype is certainly warranted. What does it take to topple the self-proclaimed visionary? You need to be on your game. For all his bravado, Seth Rollins absolutely has the skills to back it up, and it is crucial that you meet him at his level. And Seth was able to be tamed there. No respect at all with that action, but it can also be meant to antagonize. Could be a method of luring your opponent into a mistake. Inverted DDT. Schoolboy pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you, never a good time for that to happen. Suplex. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Yeah. Oh, shot right to the kidney. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, what a chop! That'll light you up. Bruising attack to the stomach. So ruthless. Seth is being covered. He narrowly avoids the count. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Up high, the cross body from the top. He deflects it right back. Oh, strong impact. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Caught with a jawbreaker. I don't know what's going to take to put an end to this rivalry they have. It's going to be something fierce, I bet, Michael. And I'll guarantee it's going to be excruciatingly painful, guys. Look, he thinks he has it. Shot. Now the trash talking after the victory. Emotions running high. And Byron, I'm not quite sure. This is what we, we expected to see. Okay, this is, no, this is not needed. This is uncalled for. With a steel shield to the arm. Repeated shots. Winning clearly wasn't enough for this superstar. It's about taking out their opponent altogether. Now this is too much, Corey. This is way too far. 